So hello fellow YouTubers. So today we're going to be talking about variables and uh, variables are spaces in memory that uh, um, hold some type of some type of value. Uh, These values can be uh, a string value, can be uh, a number value, and it could be a bowl. So it's like it's like a bit value. You can either hold yes or not, yes or on, yes or no, on or off, and uh, true or false, or you know something like. The number values, um, the, the, the variables can be of different types depending on uh, what type of value they, they hold and also the size of the value. So in uh, C Sharp, for you to declare a, value, um, a variable, you're going to use the uh, data type keyword plus the identifier, so whatever you want to name that uh, variable. So let's just say to declare integer variable, you're going to use a INT uh, data type, and then you can name whatever you want it. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, name num1 and semicolon to terminate. Uh, that's one way to declare a variable. You can also declare several value uh, variables on the same line. Uh, line. So let's say num2, num3, num4. So um, that's another way of doing it. You can also declare a variable and also assign a value to it at the same time. So right now I have... Um, Five different uh, variables here, all of the same type, with the uh, with one uh, variable num five for the value of ten. So one thing that we could do is actually move all of these declarations into one line, just like that, and that would work just fine. We can also declare here a string variable, so say string name. And um, also, we can declare um, a bool va value here, which is a variable that holds on or off or something like that. So once we uh, declare variables, then we can assign values to it. So say num1, I'm going to say that the value is 1. Um, I can say num2 holds a value of 2. And then I can also say that num3 is holds the value of num2 plus 1 okay and then I can say that num4 uh, equals to num5 minus 6 um, the name the name variable is a string value so uh, I have to assign strings to it say my name is Fabio so I'm just put a, a value in there and then the bowl it's a on or off value so let's say x equals to console dot uh, caps lock so as you can see here you can assign actual values to a uh, variable but you can also assign the uh, a, a, one variable to the other variable and then you can actually add some value to it. I don't want to, I don't mean to make this too complicated, but just to prove that you can do that. So let's go ahead and display this information here. Console dot right line. And then how many variables do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables. So let's go zero, one. Maybe one, two. Oh, I already had it. Perfect. Okay. Let's just enter those. And then let's enter our variables. Now let's go ahead and display it. Well, we're going to need to hold this screen up for a little bit. So let's just. Uh, make the program wait for an input before it terminates. Let's go ahead and run it. And there we go. So this is what we have. Num1, value of 1, which we assign right there. And then we have num2, which is that value. We assigned it. Num3 equals 2 plus 1. So 2 plus 1 equals 3. There you go. 4, it's 5 minus 6. And 5 equals 10. So 10 minus 6 equals 4. 
um, num5 we assigned up here so um, num5 equals 10 and then uh, the name variable uh, equals my name Fabio and then x equals caps lock which is off so it says false I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off I'm gonna turn my caps lock on and I'm gonna run it again you can say that you can see that that turns to true so very simple quick introduction to um, uh, variables if you have any questions please ask subscribe rate my video and um, stay tuned for some more thank you